All right, the other big story of the former Prime Minister, Dr. Manmohan Singh, is addressing NSUI. Let's listen into what he's saying. In place many new policies. We had enacted many new laws. This has led to profound social transformation and unprecedented economic growth as well. Many of our programs are now being repackaged and marketed as initiatives of the Modi government. What the BJP had opposed when we were in power are now being sold as its contribution. But this doesn't surprise us. This is the compliment that the BJP government could pay to the constructive work done by the UPA government. There is a third task ahead of you as well, and that relates to improving the outreach of the Congress party to the younger generation of our country. Aspirations today are in flux. New communications technologies are creating new expectations. Rajivji ushered India into the modern information technology age, but as a party, we have not been able to take full advantage of the new opportunities that have arisen. Our political opponents appear to have left us behind in this area. We have and we must fill up this gap. We have much catching up to do and no time to lose. Ladies and gentlemen, institutions of democracy are under threat. The entire edifice of the welfare state is now being dismantled. The guise of promoting faster economic growth, whereas they are two sides of the same coin. The past is continually being rewritten to promote a highly biased and communal view of history. Dissent is being suppressed. The Congress party has strived hard to ensure that India flourishes as an open, pluralistic, liberal, secular democracy proud of its composite heritage. This very idea of India is now under systematic assault. We must understand how this is, this assault is being mounted and then come up with our response. You are, ladies and gentlemen, the foot soldier who will make this happen. Ladies and gentlemen, I shall now say a few words about what is being said by the BJP people about the performance of our government and what they have sought to achieve in the one year that they have been in office. There are two constant themes of the BJP leadership. One, that the UPA was a very corrupt government. I want to assure you that we have been fighting corruption. We will continue to fight corruption and there will be no compromise with corruption. As far as I am myself concerned, I can say in all humility that I have not used my public office to enrich myself, to enrich my family, or to enrich my friends. And still the BJP government keeps on harping on the theme of corruption just because it wants to detract the attention of the people to non-issues. The other thing that 
the BJP constantly talks about is there was a policy paralysis when the UPA government was there. This is also totally untrue. When we left office in 2014, in the past 10 years, our economy grew at an average annual rate of 8.5%. This, this is an all-time record. When we left office, we were the second fastest growing economy in the world after China. In the last one year, BJP government had to manufacture, modify some statistical data to show that this last one year has not been that bad for the economy. But their own people are of the view that the recovery that they talk about in the last one year is a very fragile recovery. The chief economic advisor of the Minister of Finance, the governor of the Reserve Bank, they have both been of the view that recovery is fragile. And indeed, if you look at the harsh realities, you will find that all is not well with the state of our economy under the BJP dispensation. Look at what is happening to investment? Investment is not going up. Look at what's happening to agricultural production. Agricultural production is declining. Our farmers are in distress. You look at exports. Exports are declining. And what is more is that throughout the country, there is an acute distress in rural areas. 65% of our people live in rural areas. And if they are dissatisfied, if they are fed up with this present regime in one year, then obviously things cannot be that close. So what I am saying is that all of us have an obligation to give correct information to our people, what is wrong with the BJP government, what is the, the talk of the BJP, false talk about the weaknesses of the UPA government. Look at the issue of make in, make in India. What is it is make in India? This is a carbon copy of the program that our government had chalked out as new manufacturing policy under which we had pledged that we will raise the share of manufacturing in total national income to 25% of our GDP. In all these areas, the UPA said we will do better than ever before, and we have done. We have revitalized, expanded educational facilities for the masses, both for higher education as well as for lower education and primary education. We launched the National Rural Health Mission to take rural health services to the masses in rural areas. We launched the urban Jawaharlal Nehru Urban Renewal Mission so that our urban areas can also be, get a feel that there are things moving in this country under the UPA government. So I could go on, but time is limited. I do wish to tell you that we have nothing but to be proud of our achievements. You have the responsibility to go to the people at large and explain to them 
what was our contribution, what did we do to lift the masses from the ma massive amount of poverty, ignorance and disease which still undoubtedly characterizes our country. The Congress Party, Rahul Gandhi, Sonia Gandhi are committed to eradication of poverty, of bringing in a new India free from the fear of want and exploitation. And ladies and gentlemen, the youth of the country, the young men and young women are the vanguard soldiers of the Congress in making the future happen. Jai Hind. The former Prime Minister Manmohan Singh addressing the students' wing of the Congress, saying that they have nothing to be afraid of and only to be proud of. Also taking on the current Modi government in a rare candid attack, saying that much was wrong um, with this government, saying that the institution of democracy itself was under threat and there was a systematic assault on the institutions of democracy, on the allegations of corruption against him and policy paralysis. Uh, he went on to say that they were not true, that the, uh, that, uh, the growth rate under his regime was 8.5%. And he went on to say that the BJP government keeps harping on the theme of corruption to detract attention from uh, non-issues. He said that all was not well with the economy under the BJP rule. He also put a question mark on the, uh, on the Modi government's Make in India agenda. Uh, also talked about the declining exports and a whole range of issues to do with the economy. He said that the Make in India is a carbon copy of our government's manufacturing policy, taking on the current dispensation, a rare attack uh, by uh, while addressing the youth wing, the car students' wing of the Congress there today. Dr. Manmohan Singh also talking about a whole range of other issues, uh, also saying that he has never used his office to enrich his personal uh, personal self is saying that I can, in all humility, say that I have not used my public office to enrich myself, family or friends.